Um, again, my name is Dave Jehemski, and I'm the safety and compliance manager for New Waverly Transportation. We are so our mission is to support shipping products throughout the United States, primarily in the Southeast Texas region and so on. <clears throat> the CEO of the company started looking at some of our safety data for the corporation, and he determined that you were safer in the battlefields of Vietnam than working at one of our mills. That was impactful when he said that. <clears throat> so he set out to change the culture. Because the culture is going to be the foundation of what you're doing. And the decisions you make, do they support that culture? So one of their decisions, of course, is with New Waverly is we want you to be safe on the highway. We don't want to hurt anybody. We don't want to hurt our drivers. So we're mandated to make sure that we're supporting that culture. And that's kind of evidenced by one of my drivers here, Santos. You know, he's quite proud that he had received all those safety awards for all those years, and he's still building on them today. So he's got the culture. And that's our job as managers is to instill that culture in, in our folks. What we're doing here today is we're, we're focusing on accident prevention, right? That's part of what we're doing. And that's what the Infinity Group is about, is to help us prevent accidents from happening. Because accidents can happen at any time. We can't control what other people are doing, texting, while driving, not paying attention, unsafe U-turns. This happened uh, just about a month ago. This was at a construction zone. They were shutting down the left lane. The barrier truck was there. Cones are out, signs are out. This driver failed to yield to all of that or pay attention to it. At the last minute, caught the back of that barrier truck and started cartwheeling down the, the interstate. <laughs> she walked out of it, I don't know how, but she did, thank God. So with that, and to support accident prevention, this is our safety program, and this is what I wanted to leverage today, and of course, Infinity is a part of that. But uh, real important, it starts with the onboarding process. We talked a little bit about making sure that our drivers are qualified, running our MDR reports, PSP reports, uh, I saw a few hands that didn't come up with PSP reports. If you have any questions on that, how it's used, please let me know. I'll be glad to answer that for you. But that's a big part of it because it shows that history, the trending of what that driver is doing out in the field. And do you want to bring that mindset into your company or not? <clears throat> but we do, uh, of course, the required video training uh, through Infinity, Smith System, Smart Drive. Um, we do text alerts to our drivers when there's been an accident or to, uh, warnings about weather conditions. Uh, we track our vehicle maintenance. So you can see all the things that we're doing up here to support our program. Uh, a real big one is our safety, uh, Safe Driver Award program. Uh, last year we spent $120,000 in safety awards to our drivers that qualified. And uh, I'm proud to say that we were at the 89% uh, uh, of our fleet was met that criteria. So uh, we also do a no violation. They get a no violation inspection on the road. We give them 100 bucks. Uh, we had over $6,200 in spend on that. And that's all money well spent. This accident, what well, didn't quite, or this incident didn't quite turn as well as the last one. Our driver's coming along and all of a sudden this driver decides to get into our lane of travel. We had a vehicle over here on the right, so our driver had to thread all of that with a damaged steering. As soon as that vehicle hit his, his uh, front steer tire, he lost his steering. But he was able to brake and coordinate it enough. He wound up in the ditch. Fortunately, he didn't go over. But again, that's how fast these things can happen. Fortunately, the other driver was not hurt, um, but uh, accident nevertheless. Dave, do you share these with your drivers? Yes, we do. On, on, the, on the platform? Not on the platform. We've been doing that with our safety meetings sharing them during the safety meetings. Yeah. University of Michigan came up with a study on accidents and 80% of, of accidents, the drivers are falsely accused of being involved in that accident. And that's, again, what your safety program and the Infinity Group is doing is helping us to defend this when we're falsely accused. Also, if we are in the 20% where our drivers made a mistake, it helps us to go from a huge lawsuit 
to the smaller settlement amount because we have done our homework. We have done the right things. We do support safety and it boils down to the driver made a poor choice or made a bad decision that day. So part of our mobile technology program is of course the ELDs we've talked about. We provided all of our drivers with tablets. Here comes the Infinity Group because they gave it a really good platform for us to be able to make assignments to our drivers while they're waiting in line to get loaded or unloaded, they can be viewing the assignment. And that's worked out really well for us. <clears throat> uh, Smart Drive System is part of our electronic program as well. So in building our safety program and in its growth and development, um, Infinity and Vertical Alliance were brought to our attention by our insurance carrier. He would come out and we'd have, we'd have monthly, quarterly visits and we'd chat about it. He said, you know, you got a really robust program here and I think there's an addition you could use to that that would really be beneficial and he, he uh, brought this to our attention. And the rest is history. We're, we're highly involved with it now. So I'm just going to go through real quick uh, how it works from our side and uh, what we've done and what we've been, how we've been successful with this. So, you know, every month we'll get the, or, or quarterly we'll get the, uh, uh, booklet with all the training that's available and what I try to do is I try to pick two videos a month I try to do one that's reactive in other words I'm seeing a lot of um, lane violations so I'll put a video out on that as I see them coming across my desk and I try to do one that's being proactive you know I haven't done anything on rail crossings in a long time or school buses you know those type of things so I'll, I'll, I'll select two videos one reactive one uh, proactive. That goes out to the driver. They're able to access that video through their tablets and when they complete it, I'll get an email. It gives the driver's name, what the assignment was, when it was completed, and it gives us a link to the certificate. So then we'll take that, print that certificate off. Once it's printed, <coughs> all electronically, then we put it in the driver's safety file. So Elder Newman here, you, you can see he's got quite a few. He's been with us a while, it's quite a few. Now, God forbid if he ever got an accident, I don't think anybody could say we weren't doing some additional training for him and trying to help him be safe on the roads. <clears throat> this is all handled by our compliance folks as, as these come in. Here's where it tests your metal in your program and your dedication to it. We talked about earlier, if the tires aren't turning, nobody's making money. Drivers are making money, company's not making any money. But what's more important is safety. So what we do is, uh, Mr. Scott, my buddy Mr. Scott at work, he's the uh, spreadsheet guru. He put together a spreadsheet where we monitor all of the um, driver's activities on the videos, and anybody that hasn't completed it, he puts them into the uh, different uh, driver manager categories and we send this out to our driver managers as hey these folks need to complete their videos if they don't complete it by the due date then they're put on a dispatch hold until they complete the video that's tough sometimes when you got a customer that needs a product and he's on the back of a truck and we got a driver who's been dragging his toes not getting this done you know well, <coughs> What's your commitment? Dude, you need to pull over right now. Let's get this knocked out. Then we can give you your next load. And I'll, and I'll kind of digress back to when we started the Infinity program, Vertical Alliance. We just didn't say, okay guys, here it is. You know, we're doing these videos, you better get them done or we're gonna shut you down. We had to, or what I did was I had put together various safety meetings that we would put together, talk to the drivers, Explain why are we doing this? Once they understood why, because of the litigation and the other things that have been talked about today and the importance of it, they understand. Now, again, you're gonna have the guys that drag their feet. They're not gonna get it done in time. But for the majority of the drivers, they're, they've been co pretty cooperative with it. In fact, I'll get it released. And sometimes within 30 minutes, here they start coming in. Drivers are already getting on it. So that's pretty, pretty good stuff. So when the pandemic hit, we didn't know what to do, what to expect. Nobody did. We had to shut down 
our recruiting process or our onboarding process because we didn't want to get anybody sick. We didn't know what was going on. Well, we knew we couldn't do that for a long period of time. So I reached out to our folks at Infinity, Vertical Alliance, and we discussed, hey, are other people doing some onboarding? And the answer was yes. They gave me a few examples and I started digging into it. And so we created our remote orientation project and we figured out what items that we needed to do to put into that uh, videos that would be released to the driver. And we talked about earlier, you know, you, you, your orientations could take two days, three days, four days. So we took all the content that could be done ahead of time, watching all the safety videos and certain documentation, policies, various things. We incorporated that all into the Infinity Group, and then we assigned that to a driver, or, or uh, applicant, I guess I should say. So all of that is done before they even get to orientation. So our orientations ran about two days, maybe two and a half, depending. Once we got through this whole process, we reduced it down to about four hours. And it's, I think it's a more, it's a quality, more quality time because we can focus on the real meat and potatoes of what the drivers need to be doing out there. Especially if we see maybe on his PS, PSP report, he's had some activity, not enough to knock him out of the ballpark, but it kind of gets your attention. So during orientation, we can make note of that and we can focus a little bit more on CSA scores and what they need to be doing differently out in the field to protect themselves and, and the motoring public. So that's worked out real well. So they're assigned it. Here's a breakdown of you know, some of the content that's in one of those folders that's put out uh, as an assignment. Once it's completed, of course, we can go into a, uh, a detailed uh, assignment report. We print that off and we marry that with the certificate. And all that goes into their driver qualification file. So if we're ever asked what, you know, when you brought this driver on, did he understand, you know, CSA, did he understand pre-trip inspections and all this? Here it's all in one package that we can present. I don't know if he understood it, but he, he was, he, we presented it to him. That's right, that's right, you know. So, <clears throat> and then the last piece we did was there are some documents needed to be signed like the annual lease and some other things that we do. We'll run that through DocuSign. That was a helpful tool for us too. This is this is the new this is the new norm now, because we can focus more on the driver at the orientation. What really needs to be talked about. The other challenge we had is every year we have an annual safety awards meeting, where we get everybody together in the various regions from East Texas to Alabama to the to the Carolinas, and we honor our award winners, people that were safe throughout the year. Well, again, with the pandemic shutting that down, I thought, what am I going to do here? And I thought, aha, <laughs> infinity. So reached out, figured out how to make it work. And so I put together a PowerPoint presentation with video or, or with a voice overlay. And I incorporated some videos like we saw with uh, some of the uh, uh, smart drive. I incorporated that into the presentation. Because our meetings consist of usually, hey, here's some things that are happening in the industry, here's some trending, here's some things that we see on our end that we need to be watching out, and then we transition into honoring the drivers. So, again, we make the assignment to the driver. We do the tracking again. And anybody that doesn't complete it by the due date will be put on hold. We hate to do that with a safety award meeting, but hey, it's all part of it. So, we track it get the emails showing us that they've completed it, and the certificate comes in, and into the file it goes. What I wanted to leave you with today is, and, that, and again, we're all here, and this is, a, this is a sign of what your company is doing. It's, it's good to see, because you're representing the culture, the culture of your company. So are you guys, is your company prepared? Or are you just lucky that, well, oh, we haven't had any real bad ones yet? I've been through two DOT audits, full blown, come in, look at all the things that we want to see driver qualification files, medical files on these drivers, these vehicles. Let me see your roadside inspections, the whole nine yards. And I have to say that in both of them, we came out with flying colors. Our, our safety rating didn't change. 
and we no citations or fines. And a lot of that is a result of the training that we're continuing to do with our drivers. So again, what is luck? I had a CEO for LP once define luck as when preparation meets opportunity. So through all of this, what we're doing, we're preparing for the day, you just mentioned it, somebody in this room is gonna have a fatality accident. It's gonna happen, or there'll be a bad accident. And there'll be litigation involved. So we're preparing for that. Remember that one photograph I asked you to kind yeah. of keep an eye yeah. on? Remember that? <clears throat> that was in East Texas here. And I'll describe what happened. This is the video from that accident. <laughs> Sorry. Our driver is easing along, he's in the right lane doing everything he should be doing. All of a sudden, here comes this. Oh boy. Unfortunately, that was a fatality. The other driver didn't make it at the scene. Very upsetting. <clears throat> Our driver was air flighted to the hospital in Beaumont. Again, fortunately, he, was, he survived. He was beat up for a little bit, but he was okay. <clears throat> Not only was he driving right, you saw him in the right lane. Everything was good. He had his equipment squared away. His logbook was squared away. We had the video, and we had all of our infinity training in the files. So what do you think came next? Lawsuit. Got a letter from an attorney. Your driver was negligent in driving. Your company is not safe. His logbook was out. The, you know, the list of accusations went on and on. So of course we immediately engaged our insurance carrier and they got their legal folks involved. Or you think, well, okay, here's a video of the, of the accident. Our driver was not at fault. Your driver was. Crossed over the entire roadway to get to us. Now his logbook was out. Oh really? Here are his logs. Here's his data. No fault. You want to go back 14 days? You want to go back? How far do you want to go back? It was good. Well, you guys don't promote safety. Here, here, look at the look at the infinity file. Here's our, all of his certificates of all the things that he's been trained on. Once all that was presented to the other, you know, attorney, he resigned from the case, and the lawsuit was was dropped. Never went to court. Never, never went to yeah. court. Never went past. Never went past go. You know, a lot of it because of the culture. The culture demanded what we would. Well, how we operated, what we saved, and what we did. You mentioned some of those nuclear verdicts that are happening. Here's one here, right in Gilmer, Texas. $260 million. $260 million. What does that do to insurance rates like you were mentioning earlier? We got hit with a 68%. They were saying, your rates are going to go up 68%. Whoa, well, that was a hard pill to swallow. So we took it to market. And when we started showing people our safety program and all of the things that we do, which included our training, video training program, what we ended up with was less than half of what they were, or more than half of what they were talking about, reduced it dramatically from what it could have been. And it's all a tribute to that. So, you know, it kind of makes you wonder, this company that was sued here, you know, did they really have a strong safety culture and state safety program to get this kind of a get this kind of a verdict? So again, we've we've partnered with Infinity. It's been a critical part of our program, and we're going to continue with that. So, anybody have any questions, thoughts, comments? Outstanding, is all yeah. I can say. Yeah. Well, either I did. <laughs> Either I did a really bad job or I was very boring, I don't know. But, uh, but uh, hopefully this helped you in your decision uh, in moving in this direction. And, you know, again, it, it doesn't happen overnight. And uh, that's a big, that's a hard pill for a company to swallow when you're going to be looking at whatever dollars it is for this program that you'd be into and all the other things. But you start somewhere and you just continue to build on that program. No, I just